Hey, this is David with Redline Rebuilds. And yes, I am at home. It is Corona season and we are stuck in the house, fortunately in the garage at the house. And uh, we're working on some of our own personal projects. Um, as you guys know, looking at watching any of the early Redline Rebuilds, you'll know that I have lots of things in my garage that are, well, let's just say in process. Um, I always have uh, multiple things that I'm doing um, and I always get stuck with uh, the same things that everybody else does. Running, not sure how I'm going to accomplish something or I ran out of a part or well, ran out of money. I mean that happens too, right? So I have some projects that I'm working on here today and I'm going to show them to you. Uh, but first, uh, with any project you should get started with a relatively uh, clean area. So one of the things I learned when I was a young boy was if I had time to lean, I had time to clean. That's right, Anders. It's time to sweep. After we get some of our cleanup done, the other good thing to use this time for is to do a little, let's just say organization. Now, I'm not going to tell you to run out and um, uh, you know, strip everything out of your garage and throw it out in the yard and well, start over from empty. That might be a good idea, but it's probably not gonna be the most feasible thing. So what I would recommend is finding a simple project, that something you have laying around in a box that's just disorganized Take it one step at a time and clean that piece up. So, like they always say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So, uh, did you get that cleaned up? Yes? Yes, sir, I did. All right. Okay. So, what do we have, Anders? We have... We got this slick little craftsman organization box. Yeah, I agree. It is a nice little bot, a little craftsman box. It's got a bunch of slots in it, and doesn't earlier, it? Whoop. And earlier I put these in there. Okay. Sweet. And so we, my dad's gonna cut open those packages and then we're gonna put all those things in a different things by their sizes. Okay, so what I have here to go along with the uh, craftsman organizer box is a whole bunch of all-star I refer to them as riv nuts or blind nuts. So what these do is you take a, you have a tool that, um, that pulls these tight. They're like a rivet, but at the end of the day, they're threaded. So if you have a piece of sheet metal, let's say you drill a hole in it, slide this riv nut into it, use the tool to pull it tight. And now you have a threaded hole in something that is not thick enough to thread. So, that's what that's all about. But as you can see, having multiple packages in a cardboard box and the tools kind of spread all over isn't necessarily the best, uh, organization. He had the best organization. That's correct. That is from a nine-year-old's mouth, the best organization. Right, buddy? All right. So let's, let's do this. All right, Andrew. So I guess the first thing we got to do is get all of these Riv nuts out of the packages. So, hmm, where did my knife go? Don't hmm. worry, I got this. Oh, look at you. Thank you, sir. Thank you weren't playing with this, right? No. All right, good. Because, you know, we get in trouble if you're playing with a knife. Okay, so here's the first couple I had already had opened. Those are 5 sixteenths. So go ahead and start, pop that open. Find a good spot for those. I'll give you the small ones first. Nice job. All right. Hey. Okay, we made short time of that, didn't we? I'll throw these away. Okay, cool. Do you want one of them yeah, them throw them right over there. Yep. Sweet. Okay. There we go. We got one. Small project done, but two of us made it in half the time, didn't we? 
All right, cool. All right, now. Every time a person would, one person would make it. That's true. So we got three things to do today, right? Yep. What's the next one? Do you remember? Yep, you tell them. So there's a block over there that we're going to be working on. An engine okay. block, right? An engine block. All right, let's go get after it. <clears throat> okay, Anders, so here's our motor. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put this together. I'm going to help you, and you're going to put all the plugs into it right now. So all, everything that screws in. Um, this is a 350 block. It is actually going to have a 360 stroke crankshaft in it. Um, so it'll be a 360 cubic inch uh, engine similar to the 360 sprint car motors. Um, but this is going to go into our front engine dragster, the parts chaser that, uh, that we race as a family kind of around at different uh, nostalgia events. So with that piece of things, we're going to uh, start putting these plugs in. Um, I'll put the Permatex on there, Anders, and maybe get them started, and then you can torque them in, okay? Sure thing. All right. So first question I have for you is what color are race motors? Black. Black. What color are street motors? Orange. What color? What color are they? Orange. Orange, that's right. Specifically, hugger orange, but you know, we won't split too many hairs there. Okay, all right, so how are we looking here? Do we get all the plugs in? Okay, so we got the three on the back. Three in the front. Three in the front. And the little one. One right here. Got that one down there. And that one there. Yep. Sweet. Okay, hey, we made progress, right? Nice job. Okay, cool. All right, so hey, we're going to continue working on this motor and get it assembled with my little helper here. And, uh, you know, like we say, get in the garage, get your work done so you can go out and enjoy your ride and have fun. See you next time. Like my dad says, you got to do your chores before you can go play outside. And my chores are done. Woo!